Drag racing is all about going fast, but you also have to get stopped safely. I've seen accidents happen at the racetrack because of chutes not opening and someone crashed as a result. Today I'm going to show you some of the methods I use to pack my own parachute. Let's get started. I see a lot of people back behind their trailer for sometimes 10-15 minutes trying to flip this thing around. I'm going to show you the easy way to get this thing straight. Let's go up here. We're going to start by grabbing onto this cord and just following it straight back. We've got the top line and we'll just follow it all the way back here. Just simply keep the focus on this top line up here, keep it flat and just untroll this. Okay, now that I got this thing straight, we're going to start folding it up. Just use your fingers here in the panels, pull it over. So you get your three fingers there and you can just take this and lay it down on the floor. Okay, once I got my parachute on the ground, I'm gonna fold it in half first. Then I'm gonna do an S fold. Okay, now I'm gonna take the parachute and put it in the D bag. Gotta do the back end first, shroud lines on top. Just stuff it in there. Try to keep it neat. Okay, there's many ways to put your shroud lines in here, but I just like to take it and make circle loops in my hand and just tuck it in the bag. Okay, I'm gonna take the string, toss it through the loop here, lay, up, lay it up out of the way. I'm gonna take the rest of my shroud line, tuck it in the bag here before I fold the flap over. Tuck that flap in there. I'm gonna take my D bag. I want this thing going into the pack. I want the shroud lines on the bottom and this little mini chute towards the top less risk of anything getting caught behind the disc back here. Take my string. You want to start at the top. I go top, bottom, inside, outside. And once you get this here, you can use your thumb to hold that. Reach in the back here. Make sure there's nothing caught behind that plate. Got the last flap here. Pull it up. Grab your cable, throw it in there, pull your string out. Works best if you pull it the other way from where the cable is, so you don't pull your cable out. And then the other thing too to keep an eye on is your shroud lines. I see a lot of guys that have them hanging down like this. You want to tuck as much of that thing in there as you can, less chance of it getting around the wheelie bar. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully some of my tips will help you out in the future with some of your parachute problems. Remember, for all your parachute needs, check us out at quarterbacks.com.